You're watching NBC6 News today. Community matters. That's why NBC6 is the only station giving you a weekly Coffee with the Mayor segment. Now, each week I sit down with mayors from across the Arklatex asking them questions about what's being done to improve local communities. This morning, I welcome the Manny Mayor, Ken Freeman. Good morning. Good morning. I know How it was a drive, so. Eh, it's okay. Thank you for being it's here early. bright and early. <laughs> yes, sir. So, last time we were here, a lot was going on in your town. That June Council meeting, unfortunately, you were arrested. How has it been transitioning and getting back on track? track well the community is uh, we're gonna be all right it's just uh, it was uh, what we like to call now the greatest show in town mm -hmm. uh, it was a planned and orchestrated uh, embarrassment for our community and it was totally unnecessary if you'll remember uh, I was trying to get to the detention center to stop uh, what I considered an illegal arrest of a citizen and in doing so, I was probably speeding. They say it was like 12 miles over the speed limit. And um, so anyway, six weeks later, mm -hmm. the police department go to our judge and get a warrant for my arrest when all that was ne really necessary was just to give me a ticket. Uh, they chose not to do that. They chose to wait until we had a council meeting and all the press was there. They made a big deal of it. Um, I was arrested, uh, released, and we're trying to move forward. Uh, the public will have an opportunity on, uh, in November's election to decide whether they want their uh, chief of police to be appointed or elected. But they need to understand that once he's elected, he answers to no one, no one, mm -hmm. for four years. Uh, if he is appointed, you can get to the council and the council can make changes or any disciplinary action that is necessary to make sure that you are protected and safe. So we're asking the public to make that decision in November um, and once that happens, we'll move forward from there. Now the assistant police chief is actually who arrested you and he's no longer having a job right he now. Was, he was fired, yes. He was fired after the meeting. He apparently made some, uh, well, uh, comments to uh, some ladies and one of them being, a, two of them being a city council women and uh, they were uncalled for and the city council fired him. How is the confidence of the police department in Manny? I know a lot of people uh, have seen discussions and heard discussions of people saying they would prefer just the sheriff's office coming in and taking over. Well, that is a, a possibility, and one that I would support is to dissolve the uh, uh, Manny Police Department and turn it over to the sheriff. I have to ask our citizens, why do you pay two law enforcement agencies to do the same job? You're paying the sheriff $2.3 million a year, and you're paying the city police $1 million. So, and they generate $177,000. So this general fund and the citizens of Manny are subsidizing the Manny Police Department at 81%. If we were able to turn that responsibility over to the sheriff department, and understand the sheriff department has an obligation to you as citizens of Manny uh, that would save some money that we could lower water rates which we plan to do if we can get it done but we did get we had it on the ballot uh, the secretary of state called and said because you're under the Larson Act you have no authority to do that that has to be done legislatively that would happen next spring however we do ha do have the authority to put it on the ballot to uh, have the uh, uh, chief of police appointed. All right. Well, thank you for keeping us updated there. Now, the Sabine Historic Museum, you have some news to share We're about that. We're awfully excited about that because uh, many of our citizens have worked very hard for the last 20 years to try to get this to fruition. Um, we call it the Manny Sabine Parish Historical Museum. We in Sabine Parish think we have a very interesting and colorful story to tell, and we're excited that we're going to be able to do that with our Manny Sabine Parish Historical Museum. And what we're asking, the building is complete. We're ready to move into it. We're asking our citizens now to offer us 
items of interest that you think will be of historical value to the museum. If you will call City Hall and talk with Sandra, and she will send out a crew to look at it and determine if it does have historical value for Sabine Parish. At that point, we would uh, categorize it, we would uh, inventory it, and give you or your family credit for making that donation or a loan. Um, and then we have a climate controlled storage building where we would keep the, um, the items until they could be shown in the museum. We think it's going to be a big success. We're asking for your help now mm -hmm. to help us tell that story, tell your story, tell your family's story. We think it's of interest and we're going to tell it. All right, Mayor, some good news there. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. Well, and you thank at you home, for having me. Yes, sir. You at home can find all of this information that we just discussed on our website, arklatexhomepage.com. And a quick reminder, Coffee with the Mayor runs each Monday right here on NBC6. Now, next Monday, we'll have the Texarkana, Texas Mayor, Bob Brueggemann, right here in studio. Stay tuned. Josh is back with a quick check of the forecast next.